He has been at the forefront of location since it was founded some 30 years ago. Uh, we provide services for enterprise, vehicles, uh, government and consumer apps, uh, which help our city function. Our HD Live Maps will be powering automated driving vehicles, which will help replicate the human driving experience. And that's a prerequisite for any automated driving solutions. So with the vehicle behind me, which we use for our normal data collection, we uh, also collected three SBAS signals using the same antenna and reference point. We actually applied a splitter to the mast, which we used to split the signal into three different receivers, which sat inside the vehicle. And with that, we also evaluated those signals compared to our here true differential GPS signal, which used for conventional collection of our HD live map data. We need differential GPS for our HD live maps collection. SBAS could possibly be used in real time collection and also it could be used for validating signal strength where DGPS is not available or drops out. Uh, theoretically, uh, we could probably reduce post processing time using SBAS technology integrated into our da vehicle data collection. However, the main benefit of SBAS would be in the actual vehicles that use our maps. For a HD live map and for automated drive, we need the most accurate positioning and at the moment normal standard conventional GPS isn't at that stage. Integrating SBAS into those systems will allow more accurate location. Well our vision is to enable an autonomous world for everyone and that means indexing all data that has location and it also means real-time data collection of anything that moves. The more precise data we have and the more real-time data we have that means we can make that split-second decision a little bit better, which will enable safer roads for everyone.